Hello Deadheads! Welcome back to my channel. Or welcome for the first time. For most of last year, this was my favorite little handheld. The MiU Mini Plus. Now, I tried to get the original MiU, the 2.8 inch version, but of course, as we know, that was so hard to get a hold of. But then this guy came out and was wonderful. With its custom firmware, its Onion OS, it was great. And then something happened. Then this guy right here came along, the R36S. And I found myself picking this up and playing this a whole lot more than I expected. Where did this come from? Who made this? And more importantly, why is this so awesome? But now we have something else, an R33S. And I have been working with a distributor to bring you an exclusive first look here in the United States at the R33S. We're going to do an unboxing here, take a first look at it as it just came in, and see if this little unit can actually top this for small portability. So thank you for watching the channel. Let's dig in and start this unboxing, and we'll be right back. And we're back. There it is, straight from China. So let's um, pull this guy out and let's take a look here and see um, what we have here. Very excited to do this, to be able to bring you guys uh, a first look at this. And they are giving it a different bit of a name here. Um, we do have the Pocket Boy. And here is the packaging, which you've seen, we've seen online before. We've seen this in different promotional videos. Um, we do have a 640 by 480 screen here. We have a gamepad. Uh, you have the RetroArch simulator gaming chip. You have two micro SD cards. And of course, the unit itself. I think this packaging is, is pretty nice. The R36 was a nice package, and this one is really nice as well. Uh, we do have the four colorways. This is the black transparent, the 64 gig model that we have here. We also have the transparent marple, purple. We have the white and the DMG color here. On the back here, uh, we do have, again, this unit does have the uh, Rock Chip 3326 um, uh, with the 1 gig of DDRL3, the 3.5 inch IPS, uh, 640 by 480 screen, built in Wi Fi, and it supports up through PSP and N64 and DS, and a 3200 uh, milliamp battery. So that's pretty cool here. Again, they're going with this Pocket Boy name here. Um, so let's get this open. And this is pretty nice packaging. And here we go. And we have our manual here. And we have our cord, USB-A um, to USB-C. Nothing else in there. The manual, the R33S here. So pretty good manual. Uh, open source console. We have our key functions here. Now, it doesn't have the sticks, so I was wondering about the key functions. So here we go. We have save load, save position, exit, retro arch, pause game, restart game. We have the description of it, uh, startup shutdown, specifications. Um, it's got the Mali G31 uh, on there. Oh, look at this. That's interesting. This was manufactured on December 8th, 2023. So that's when this one was manufactured, put together. And let's take a look at this. And the typical wrapping, covering, and voila, there's our unit right there. And here's the back. It doesn't have that funny sticker like the R36S had. So here's the R36S next to it. Um, so we can see the size comparison there. Uh, it was misspelled on that sticker anyways, and it looks like it is spelled correctly here on this unit here. Um, feels good. Feels really good. First impressions. Let's try these buttons. Nice buttons. Uh, reset button right there. That's interesting. Um, a little, not sure what that is, a light sensor maybe. Uh, start and select. I like the blue, the blue underneath. Let's see what the D-pad is. 
Okay, the pad's good. I like it. Uh, on the side here, we have our volume rocker up and down. We have our OS card here on this side. On the other side, we do have the games card. We do have a battery back here that's removable. I like that. And then we have our triggers. Oh, nice and clicky. That's really nice. And then we have on the top, we have our power button. And for comparisons, here's the MiU. And this is, you know, pretty much a one-to-one a -one clone. Um, now, they are having trouble because MiU has uh, filed an injunction against them. And they are um, blocking sales. That's why this is not on AliExpress yet. Um, so maybe we'll see a revision of this. Um, I did see some literature showing that they are arguing that there's enough differences. Um, the charging port, the bottom's different, but uh, just about the same size here um, for it. And so, so very similar. Um, uh, in fact, just you know, next to each other, it'd be a little bit difficult to try to tell which one is which. Um, so you know, they really do look quite quite a bit the same here. And so let's just do a little bit here and see what the thickness is. Let me grab my tool. Okay, I've got the caliper here. So let's do a little measuring here and just see um, the thickness. Again, here is the, the MiU. Um, and this is coming in at its thickest point, coming in right at 22.9 on that hump. And then we've got just about the same, 23.1 here. So almost the same thickness uh, on the top here. Let's see. We've got about 16 right there on the top. And on the R33, oh, look at that, a little bit thinner on the R33. So um, uh, pretty close there on the dimensions. Uh, on how they feel and again this this is just hard at a distance to tell which one is which but let's um, take a look at the software let's boot this up and take a first look and we'll be right back okay we're back and let's fire this buddy up and see what what we have here on first boot up so very excited again and okay so it has the proper boot up screen here And this is running um, the same software that the R36S is running. So I do believe we're going to have Emulation Station. Um, yep, there we are, Emulation Station, and probably a very similar experience to what we had on the R36S. So I'm not anticipating too much of a difference as far as software goes. Um, looks like quite a few games in there. Um, Let's see here. Let's look at some Super Nintendo. And we'll take a look at what else? Super Mario World, the, the game that everybody knows exactly what it's supposed to look like, how it's supposed to play. And one thing that I did want to mention is one of the benefits of this is your MiU with the CPU that it has, it does not have a GPU. You're not going to get any shaders. You're going to have shaders. That's really cool. So that's one advantage of this. So you can go in and one of the things I really love about emulation is the fact that you can have these shaders. And so you can go in and go down the menu here and go to these shaders. And you can load a shader in here. And give it all kinds of cool effects and so we'll load that and see what it looks like you're not going to be able to do that with the um, miu so that's another advantage to this um, again i'm not expecting the software to be really that different this is running arc os so we've used arc os quite a bit we know how that it functions and so not really anticipating much of a a challenge here with that so we'll just play a little gameplay here and 
see how this feels when we're holding it? The, the, it feels just like the Miu. Uh, I mean, it's just nearly almost identical to the Miu, so not too much to uh, expect here. Has a nice little look to it, that shader I put on there. But yeah, it's playing good. Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, and it's got a good sound to it. So um, this is shipping with uh, a very similar software to the R36S. So if you've used the R36S, you're going to get an experience that's, that's really the same. Um, let's uh, wrap up here and finish this first look and unboxing. And we're back. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing and first look at the R33S. Um, I'm going to play around with this, use it for a while, and do a more proper review here in the next week or so. Um, but I got to say, I love this thing already. Um, I, you know, loved my Miu. I still love the Miu. And let me just summarize with the Miu and Onion OS, you're getting a superior custom firmware. This is running Arc OS. I like Arc OS. I really like Emulation Station. So for me, this has also got pretty good software, but there's a lot of features you get with the MiU that you're not going to find in the Arc OS. So if it comes down to custom firmware being your biggest preference, the MiU may still be the better bet for you. We don't have pricing for this. Also, don't know if this is going to be revised before it actually gets shipped out overseas um, because of MiU's um, injunction against um, the company. But I would say if you could get your hands on one of these, it's going to be a really good collector's item. And it right now is just playing very good. I still love this, but I think, you know, I don't use the sticks much. And I think the size difference, I'm going to be picking this up more often. I just think so. It works. It just plays. It's great. Um, Arc OS is fine for me. Yes, me, uh, Onion OS has a lot of features. This doesn't. But overall, this this already really impresses me. Now, price matters. If they can't get this thing into the market like they did with the R36S, um, in fact, it should be you know a similar price point, if not less, because this does give you um, the sticks. But the internals of these two are very similar, um, and, and the software is the same. So uh, if you want something more pocketable, more smaller, this guy right here. Okay, guys, uh, we got more stuff coming up in the future, um, some more exclusive looks, trying to bring you guys the first looks at a bunch of things here. Uh, please leave me some feedback. Let me know how we're doing. I want this channel to be something that we all enjoy, and I'm open to any criticism. I definitely want to improve. I'm a one-man show, but I'm trying to do the best I can and trying to invest in better equipment. And you can help me by hitting that like button and subscribing and helping our community grow. Well, this has been, again, a first look at the R33S. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Dead Fred out.